his loss certainly being felt by everyone, including right here locally. Yeah, Jeff Packer joining us on the desk tonight, and I know everybody's talking about Muhammad Ali. Kind of hits you. Oh, no doubt. Uh, back when he beat Sonny Liston for the heavyweight title, he said he shook up the world. Well, his passing this weekend certainly shook up the boxing world. We actually caught up with uh, one former fighter and coach in the Metro who used Ali as an example. Muhammad Ali made noise in and out of the ring. I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. But the day after his passing, victory boxing is quiet. It was just sadness, you know, a boxing icon in, in, in a fighter that did so much more than box for humanity. John Detterman coached at Victory after a career filled with more than 70 bouts. The one they called the greatest loomed large during his years in the sport. Out of handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. You know, I watched a lot of old training videos of him and, and the determination he had in training and how hard he trained. I wish we could get that passion back in our youth today. Posters of Ali are scattered around the gym at Victory. The champ watches as young fighters from the Metro try to succeed in the ring. Locally, I think us as boxing coaches, we always look back at the great boxers and the, the way he could slip punches and the way that he moved on his feet. Any boxing coach that doesn't take some stuff from, from Ali should rethink that. Detterman looks at the success boxing saw with Ali. He sees what fighters like his son Johnny and Terrence Crawford are doing. He thinks the sport is close to where it wants to be. The man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Thanks in large part to one bad man. He just made boxing something it had never been before. Boxing's, uh, I think, better than it's been in, in the last five or ten years. Ali changed boxing. He really did. The funeral will be in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, next Friday.